Hello there, it's Gabby here for you and I hope this finds you well. This week I'm thinking a lot about change because so many people that I'm working with come to me because they want to change something that's not working in their lives. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about the change that I've made in my life in this short podcast and then tell you a structure that I use with my coaching clients that helps them get from where they are now to where they want to be. So six simple steps that you can use on your own or you can use with a coach or a mentor, whoever you're working with, to take you from where you are now to where you want to be. So as I said, a lot of people come to me for coaching and mentoring because they want to change something in their lives. And for many years, um, I sort of dreamed about making some changes in my life, particularly around my health. But it wasn't until my cancer diagnosis that that became a bit of a a dream and a wish. And it became something that was really, really important for me to deal with. And so after my cancer treatment had finished, I did a lot of reflecting on the way that I was living. I, for me personally, realised that the way that I had been living, the stressed out life that I had had, rushing about all the time, not making enough time for myself, always putting other people first, not being very good at setting boundaries, working long hours at work, so many things that I was doing. And it took me a long time really to work out a plan for myself of how I could live happily and peacefully with myself and the people around me, improving my relationships while setting those boundaries at the same time. And that's something that took me, to be honest, quite a few years to work through. And so at the end of that, I also qualified as a confidence coach. I've an NLP practitioner. So I've done a lot of work working with other people on helping them to make changes in their lives as well. And now I'm really happy to say that I can help people in a few weeks make the changes that it took me years to learn how to do. One of these quotes that I love, John Lennon said, life is what happens when you're making other plans. And I find that so true. A lot of us will get to this time of the year and be thinking, oh my goodness, you know, how have we got so far? You might get to the end of the week and think, my goodness, where's this week gone? Because life is busy. I get that. We've all got a lot of stuff on. But sometimes if you're really serious about making a change and you want to prioritise that, I've got a six steps that hopefully can help you do that. The signs for me that it was time to make a change, as I say, was a cancer diagnosis. But also now I'm really conscious of the fact I recognise when I'm getting stressed. And I'm not saying I never get stressed, but I don't allow myself to go into that black hole of feeling completely overwhelmed because I've got so many tips, techniques and strategies that I use with my coaching clients. But I also use them on myself. You know, I'm not perfect. But there's a lot you can do for yourself to help you if you're getting into that habit almost of becoming stressed, of not making time for yourself. There's so much that you can do. So the six steps are really, if you want to make a change, the first one is to make a decision and decide it is time for you now to make this a priority in your life. No matter what has led you to make this decision. For me, you know, it was quite serious, a cancer diagnosis, but it might just be you thinking, this is just time now. I am sick of tired. Some people say of being sick and tired and it's time for a change. So make that decision. The second step that I would encourage you to do is really assess where you are now. And again, I've got tools and and techniques that you can use for that. But one of the ones I've talked before about in my podcast is the wheel of life. And that comes up time and time again with people. And so it's a very simple tool that you can use a wheel on a piece of paper. You can divide it into eight segments or 10, however many segments you want to. And allocate a category to each of those segments, for instance, your health, and then think about assessing yourself on a scale of one to 10. There's no judgment here. There's no right or there's no wrong. It's how you feel about yourself. So on a scale of one to 10, for instance, if you are feeling like you're a five, that's great because you know where you're starting from. And then third step is to say where you want to be. Now, it may be a lot of these segments you want to attack all at once. It may be that you think, no, actually, I just want to focus on two or three areas and give yourself a time scale. I don't know if you've heard about smart objectives. It's used a lot in business, but it's really useful for this as well. So make your objective specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and time bound. So, for instance, uh, it's the difference between saying, oh, I'm a bit overweight. I'd like to lose some weight and saying, actually, I want to lose seven pounds. It's measurable. It's a specific goal. 
it's achievable is it realistic and it's time bound i want to do that in the next two months and then on the back of that you can set a plan that's going to help you do that and that is the fourth step is to plan and again as a coach and as a mentor i've got lots of tools techniques and strategies that help people put a plan together with whatever it is they want to change in their lives maybe the weight it may be the health it may be the happiness could be relationships could be your financial situation there is no area of life really that some focus and working on and giving some attention to cannot improve. It's whether you're willing to make that change. And as I say, the first step was deciding that you're not taking this anymore. You're not accepting anymore where you are and you want to make that change. So put a plan in place and map it out. How are you going to get from where you are now to where you want to be? And that's something that I love helping people with. It just really fulfills me to help people make that journey because we've all got the potential to change whatever we want to I really believe that the fifth step is think about accountability how are you going to keep on track and that is something a coach can help you with support and challenge is part of what I do as coaching as well so I'm not all about just uh, just supporting all that that's really important if somebody needs support and needs the hand holding but also challenging them as well because sometimes beliefs get in the way beliefs of oh I can't really do that or I've tried that before and it didn't work and sometimes we can get in that fixed mindset of thinking that change isn't possible but change is always possible I really believe that and you might want to say well I've tried that before and it didn't work but there's a saying that I love another saying is um, no man steps in the same river twice because he is not the same man and it is not the same river. So if you think about that, we're constantly changing, man or woman, people are constantly changing. You're not the person that you were a week ago, a year ago, 10 years ago. Things change all the time, new experiences. And the river is the circumstances. So we think about a flowing river. We know it's not the same river because it's flowing along and it's new water and it's fresh. But life is like that as well. You're not living in the same circumstances. New opportunities come along all the time. You can learn, you can change if you want to. And me saying, oh, if you want to make a change doesn't mean there's anything wrong with where you are now. What I'm saying is if you have recognised that you want to change something about your life, then why not decide that this is the time to do it? And so my sixth step for making a change is embracing the journey and not beating yourself up thinking, well, there's something wrong with me because this thing in my life is not working or it's not where I want it to be. Embrace the journey, enjoy it and think, oh, this is how wonderful is this that we've got the internet, I can meet people online, I've got all this information at the you know, click, of, you know, click of a button. Many years ago when I was studying, I had to go to a library and look through massive big books and find the information that I want. So much information we want now is just at the click of a button. Connecting with the right people, again, is so easy on the internet. And I do a lot of my coaching and a lot of my mentoring with people online we do it on zoom which is again it's magical you don't we don't even have to be in the same country and we it's so easy for people to connect love that so embracing the journey is all about looking at your small steps not underestimating the progress that you've made okay change is not always easy and sometimes when you get into habits it's conscious at first you know think about when you first if you drive a car when you first were learning to drive a car how much concentration did that take? And I remember thinking, I'm never going to learn all this. Mirror, signal, manoeuvre, changing gears, all the things that you have to do when you drive a car. And now you can get in, I can get into a car and drive pretty much without thinking about it. It's just done it so many times. I've learned how to do it. It's not a stressful thing anymore. And so any new habit takes time at first, but then it becomes easy comes easy and so celebrate your victory celebrate those small steps celebrate those changes that you're making and be kind to yourself and if you have setbacks which is all part of life learn from them just don't make the same mistake again or analyze what did I do why did I feel like that you know if I sabotage my diet well what is it that triggers that just worth thinking and again not to beat yourself up no judgment here no making yourself wrong just think actually yeah I can tell when I have a row with my partner, that's what makes me reach for a cake or a, a glass of wine. Whatever it is, whatever self-sabotage you're doing, what is the reason behind it? And once you understand that, you can think about some strategies for thinking, well, actually, you know, this may happen in the future. But if it does again, I'm not going to sabotage myself. I'm going to do something different. So 
I hope that makes sense. So the, the six steps to, to making any change I can help you with, um, reach out to me. I'd love to talk to you if you want to jump on a call with me. I'll put a link somewhere around this podcast. But you know I do coaching. You know I do mentoring. That's part of what I do to help people who want to make a change in their life, particularly health and well-being, particularly with mindset, and especially for anybody who's been through a cancer diagnosis, I know what that's like. I've walked in your shoes and I'm here for you. And so I coach and mentor people one to one. And I've also got an online coach that is an easier way and a more flexible way of doing it. You can do that in your own time at your own pace. But whatever way that I can help you, you know that I'm here for you. And as always, I would urge you to have a great week. Stay safe. Thank you so much for listening. Take care. Bye bye.